Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to give you an update on the four American chestnut trees we bought last year. There is actually three now. So these are the first ones we bought. These were the ones I bought for originally for the project before we even had the GoFundMe. So we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how these trees are doing. It's been a while since you guys have seen them. Okay guys, here are last year's American chestnut trees. So first we're going to start out with this one. As you can see, this one is doing quite great, except obviously it's growing out limbs from the base. You know, originally I was thinking, I don't want a bushy tree, but when you think about it, it makes more sense to have a bushy tree because I'm growing these for nut production, for the breeding project, to get the best American chestnut. I can't pollinate them if I am having to climb up, having to climb up 80 feet, because that's not possible, so. Growing as a bush is perfectly fine with me. There's another shoot coming up right there. As long as the tree looks healthy, that's fine. As you can see, we're growing quite, quite well with this tree. This is the best out of the three. Got one shoot under there, as I showed you. Got two limbs coming up here, but that's fine. I don't want these trees to grow super tall because, once again, I'm going to be trying to hand pollinate these. So as low to the ground as they are is better for me. Here we have it, the other one, another big one. Well, they're all three pretty big. This one, last year we cut the fork off. We cut the fork off, which was down here, right there. But that was a mistake because it ended up forking off again. So yeah, I regret cutting that fork off. That shouldn't have happened because now, as you can see, it's growing fork it again. Yeah, what can you do? Basically, better just not to prune them. I think I'm just going to stop pruning chestnuts because they're just going to grow the way they want to grow. The leaves look kind of weird. Like, I don't know how this even happens. How is that possible? Just, that does not make sense to me how a leaf does that. And I don't know what this is either. I don't really know. This pot seems to be very, um, this bucket, like the dirt seems to be pretty dry. So I watered it a minute ago. But overall, it doesn't look like it's sick. It looks like it's doing pretty good. These are going to need to go in the ground. Either, I don't know, probably probably end up getting it in the ground this fall. They should be fine in the pots for a little while longer. But yeah, I regret cutting the fork off. Let's go down to this one right here. This one seems to be doing pretty good. Um... The leaves are different colors, which is funny, but we got a problem right here. So this limb right here is making the whole tree droop sideways. This is the top and this is a limb going outward. I said, I don't want to prune. I pruning forks. I'm no longer going to prune forks, but this is different than a fork. This is just lopsiding the whole tree. So there's times where it's okay to prune and times where just leave it alone. Like that fork up there I messed with because it just ended up forking again. But I don't know what to do. Should I just leave it alone? Prop it up with a stake? I don't know, because if it keeps getting longer, it's gonna be just touching the ground. We got the top up here, which it had anphids on it, and I washed them off, but it ended up messing that leaf up. But overall, it seems like it's fine. There's more leaves coming out. I don't know if those are anphids, those little white things right now, but man, those things are a pain in the butt. But tell me what I should do on this. Should I trim this limb or should I just leave it alone and prop it up? I don't know. But pruning I would not recommend unless absolutely necessary. But I don't know if this is necessary. Maybe it is necessary. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just leave it alone. Let it do it. Let it do its own thing. But this tree's growing good. All three of these seem to be doing, they seem to be doing great. Um, except for looking a little weird, as you can see, like. That right there, I don't even know how that happened. But other than that, they seem to be fine. They have decent sized pots for for the size of these trees. But yes, I know they need to go in the ground. But I probably won't be able to do that till, they probably won't be able to get in the ground till fall. I guess give me your thoughts on what you think of the one year old American chestnuts. Um, I don't like the way some of these leaves look, like they're not impressive, this tree, is the healthiest, obviously. This is the way they should look. I mean, those are fine, but when you come down here, 
you see something like that, it's kind of, it's kind of like, Ugh. and there's some brown spots on these leaves. I don't know what causes that. I think some of it is just normal. Obviously, you got to watch not to overwater American chestnuts because they are very weak. There was four of these, but, you know, one ended up dying. Probably because of overwatering, it didn't dry out properly. Um, we dumped it out because we were going to put more dirt in it. Then we put it back in, but it just didn't make it. So, sad, but we still got the three that are doing great. And next video, I'm going to show you guys how the GoFundMe American chestnuts are doing. The GoFundMe American chestnuts are seem to be doing decent now, but... As I'm going to tell you in the video that was before this, is that um, we had some that didn't come up. And I will be replacing those with the money I made off the hybrid chestnut trees. So I will match every tree that died. So that way your guys' money didn't go to waste. Thank you guys for watching my update on the, American, the four American chestnut trees we bought last year. Obviously, there's three now. But as you can see, they're doing pretty good. And these are a big, obviously, another part of the project. So it's cool to see how they're doing in year two. All right, guys, as always, drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later.